Hi, it's another terrific day in Cota de Casa, Orange County, California. Today is February 9th. Here's our tipu tree. But I want to show you some of the plants on our slope here. The shiny green, evergreen, this is Cape Honeysuckle, known as Tacoma Capensis. Comes from South Africa. Gives us these uh, beautiful flowers here. Look like honeysuckle, but they're not. They just look like honeysuckle. And here, this olive drab, this is an acacia. Acacia redolens prostrata, also known as prostrate acacia and vanilla wattle, because the flowers, when they come in, they kind of smell like vanilla. And the species redolens comes from the Latin word redolent, which means to give us scent, and that refers to the flowers, of course. And there's two common varieties of this prostrate acacia. There's lowboy, which is common in California, used for large ground cover, especially stabilization and erosion control around the slopes. And there's desert carpet, which is more compact. It's a lower growing plant. This is our lowboy here. It's a low growing, sprawling, wide spreading, evergreen ground cover plant. It's about one to two feet tall, sometimes as high as four feet tall, and it has a spread of about 10 to 15 feet. They're very dense, you can see, and they're multi-stemmed, multi-branched, and they're considered to be uh, fairly short-lived. They only live about 15 or 20 years before they die. And the stems, they're thin, here we go, break one off. They're thin, they're brownish, and they're multi-stemmed. And then you see down here, they get real thick and woody. All right, with the older growth, some of the newer growth here is a lot thinner still. And it dies off, you can clean it out if you want, but you don't really have to with this plant because it just kind of sprawls over the old growth. And you get a nice, uh, flat, clean look. You know, you want to give it a nice, smooth prune about springtime every year. And the leaves here, well, they're not technically leaves. These are phyllodes, and they're extensions of the petiole. So they're not leaves. It's just a flat, oval-shaped, or long petiole but it serves the same function as a leaf with photosynthesis, water loss control from evaporation or transpiration, and also uh, protection. Now they're leathery. They're about two to four inches long. They're ovate shaped, sometimes a little bit longer. They're gray green, olive colored. And if you give it too much water, they turn a little bit yellow. And the cool thing about this, uh, these leaves, they kind of spiral up the stem. See here, they're not uh, alternate or they're not opposite. They kind of spiral. There's a little bug, oop, how about that? And the flowers, some flowers up here. Okay, so these small clusters of fla yellow flowers here. And they're not very showy, but they have a great vanilla scent on these flowers here. Yeah, it smells like a little bit of vanilla. And they start up here in winter. This is February, and they'll last through spring. This is a uh, Fabacaceae, remember the legume family. So it'll develop little narrow, thick brown seed pods. Look like seed, like pea pods. I don't see any uh, left over from last year. But that's what you get out of these little clusters of yellow flowers. Now to grow this at home, it's best in USDA zones nine to 11, but it does not grow well. The lower Arizona deserts due to the hot surface temperatures on the ground, but it's great ground cover, especially on slopes. And it doesn't do well in foot traffic either because the stems get easily damaged. Likes full sun to light shade, drought tolerant, 
requires no irrigation once it's established in the coastal areas. But inland in the hotter areas, you gotta water it every now and then. And it's hardy down to 15 degrees Fahrenheit. It grows moderately in alkaline soils, windy coastal situations. And you plant these guys about 10 feet apart. Otherwise you'll start getting buildup of the plants when they meet. See how here this is kind of built up here a little bit? This is a little flatter. So these guys are starting to encroach on each other, kind of build up their girth. And they stand next to each other. You gotta kind of shear them down and keep them calm and even. And you prune these guys in early spring. Like I said, not too heavy. All right, let's give these a uh, little cluster of flowers here again. Look at that. So they are really pretty. And they attract butterflies and other insects. And sometimes you find a lot of little sparrows, lesser goldfinch hanging out in these little low-lying, prostrate acacia plant here. Wow. Okay. Acacia redolens, prostrata. This is our low boy ground cover on our slope. How about that? So I hope you liked the video. Please click like, share, subscribe, all the rest. Thanks for watching. Bye.